Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm standing by the Midland Main Line at Ayres End Lane, which is between St Albans and Harpenden. I come here quite a lot to watch trains, especially at the moment, um, because the HSTs on this line haven't got much longer to go. Only a few more weeks at the time of filming. But between the trains, there's a very nice area to walk around. It's called Hartwood Forest. It's um, got some newly planted forests. We've got some older forests. So what I thought I'd do, I'm just going to show you around some of these forestry areas um, while I wait to see an HST. And then I'll put the shots of the HSTs at the end of the video. So it's not really a video about trains, but it will start. It started with a train. It will end with a train. It's um, There's just so many different walks you can do here. It's known as Ayres End Lane, that's the lane which runs basically um, along the horizon, along there. So I quite often park the car there, I walk around these fields, see the trains. I've done various videos from here before on the trains, but then, as I said, I walk around these, the, this newly planted forest, and I thought it's such a nice place, and it would make such a nice walk. Now what I'm hoping is by the time we get into those woods, the bluebells will come out. Because when I last came up here a few weeks ago, you could see the bluebells would be coming out soon, but um, they haven't quite come out. So what I'm hoping is to find a nice blue carpet across the woods, and um, then we'll go and have a look. On the other side of this woodland, there's another forest, maybe a bit like this, called the Magical Wood. I saw that on the map, and I'm really intrigued to see what they've done. Um, so it's all woodland, um, trust land. It's it's very pleasant place to come. As I say, I park at Ayres End Lane. Sometimes I walk to Sandridge, which is a very pleasant village just north of St Albans. I can get coffee there. There's toilets there. Um, you could also park at Sandridge and walk out into the forest this way. So there's there's just so many walks you can do. And also, not far from here is um, Wheat Hampstead, which is another very pleasant village. Um, somewhere I have gone to for walks in the past. Well, actually, if you want to see one of my visits to Wheat Hampstead in, in the past, have a look at link on screen now. That shows um, the old railway station at Wheat Hampstead. But right now, I'm just going to continue on to this bridle way here and then I'm going to follow it on up towards the forest and as for views of railways there's various different cameos you can get of trains that's another quite a nice view if a train came along maybe I'll wait and see an HST here at the end of the video um, but let's go across to Hartwood Forest and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing the bluebells seeing them all out so when you get to here come through this uh, gateway so it says Hartwood Forest, Woodland Trust they've even got um, leaflets so you can pick up this leaflet, it's got a very nice map but let's just go and see another train, there's another Thameslink train there you go Oh, good timing, two came along on one go. Right, I'm going to go up here and uh, find the entrance to the woodland, the woodland with all the bluebells. So up the bridle where I go and let's go and see the bluebells. I've now come along the bridle way. It came over a little summit, opened out, and each side of us is newly planted woodland. That woodland there, that is what I said about is the magical woodland. We're going to go in that afterwards, but first we're going to go in here. This is the bluebell woodland. We did the woodland we saw down there. As I walked up the bridle way and looked through the trees, I could see um, lots of bluebells. So it all looks very, very nice. So we're going to go in here. There is um, currently a one-way system in place um, because they probably are expecting a lot of people and because obviously the current times I don't want people getting too close but here we are this is it's called Langley Wood this one this is where the best of the bluebells should be found so yeah this is welcome to Langley Wood wow and look at this I don't know if the camera's picking it up but I can also hear a train so never far from the railway wow look at that there's that carpet of um, of blue and ceiling of green. Look very, I'm not sure if they're best as yet to come. Um, I, and it looks so vivid. When I look that way, it looks really vivid. But the camera, maybe it's not quite so vivid on camera, but 
still, it's a very pleasant walk. I'm just gonna stop talking for a moment, let you hear the sounds of the birds and the view of the walk. Seems the majority of the trees in this woodlands are hornbeams. Um, yeah. Have a closer look. I think pretty much every tree in this woodland is a hornbeam. If I see any others that aren't a hornbeam, I'll point them out, but it makes a very, very attractive woodland. So um, I'm just going to let you see a bit more of the view ahead. And then um, when we get to here, there's a bit of a junction, so um, I'll see which way. It said one way along here, whether it's you got to go on a one-way system around the whole woodland. I'm not entirely sure, but um, let's see what we see. So there's a clear crossroads here. There's another path coming from down there. We get to here, the woodland changes a bit. We've got a few coniferous trees, and um, I just tripped over a tree stump. And then the hornbeam woodland of Langley Woods on that side. Here we have um, that. got another, I think it's an oak tree. So we're just going to follow our way down here. Once we get down here, we're going to be back near the railway line again. So my plan is not yet to go to the railway, just to follow right round back to where we came in, and then we're going to go and do the magical woodland. So let's just keep going through the bluebells. I'm continuing to follow this circuit around the woodlands. I've just come to these trees though. Um, these are really quite cool looking. Look at these. Always nice to see something a bit different. Um, I'm trying to think back to um, what they, what causes this, whether it's um, growth within the tree or it's like a bug that's caused it. But if you know why the trees are like this, I think they, they all look quite cool, but whether it's good for the tree or not, I'm not sure if anyone knows more about why these trees have gone like this, then uh, do please comment and tell me. I'm now just going to continue to follow the path and soon I'll be back to where I came into Langley Wood, where all the bluebells are, and then um, let's go and see what that magical woodland has. I somehow think um, it's going to be very, very different to the hornbeams and the bluebells we have in this woodland. Bells and Langley Woods behind. This is where we came into Langley Woods, so this is that bridle track. So if you go that way, you go to Sandridge. So like I said, it's worth going down there if you want a coffee, or want to use the toilets, or want to park your car, if you don't want to park at Ayrs and We're now going into the magical woodland. Now this is going to be um, interesting because we're, as you can see, this is it. It's a newer plantation. Well, the cherry blossom looks nice on those trees. Um, it says it's um, planted by the Disney saw, so I wonder what we're going to find. So, Magical Woodland, and behind us, that's Langley Woodland, where we saw the bluebells. So, let's go through this new woodland. You can see it looks like during the lockdown, a lot of people from um, Harpenden, St Albans, and Sandridge probably walked along here because it was on their doorstep. And you know, if I lived here, I'd probably be, I'd have probably spent my lockdown walking around these woodlands. Um, let's just see where this goes, what's in the middle of this magical woodland. It's all new trees. You can see a lot of hawthorns have been planted and um, various other plants and shrubs. Some young oak trees have been planted. So quite a nice uh, range of different trees and shrubs have been planted. We've got some willows up here. We have a, a willow. So from looking on a map, it looked like there's like a centerpiece in the middle, um, which I'm not quite sure how close we are to the middle or not. Hazel, come in and get some hazelnuts. Maybe not, they probably won't have hazelnuts on them just yet, but obviously will be in the, in the future. 
That looks like an unofficial path going off down there, but it looks quite, it looks quite nice. There was a lot of cherry, more cherry trees down there. So if you have to come here and get hazelnuts and cherries in the future. Um, be a great place if you were a squirrel. I can imagine all the squirrels, you know, eating all the nuts here. Um, we have another, another type of willow. So yeah, a real range of um, different plants. We seem to be probably in one of the highest points of the forest. I'm not going to go over there today, but if you go further over, you can actually see as far as Hatfield House from another visit when I parked over at Sandridge. Oh, what's this? What did I say about squirrels eating nuts? Well, there we go. We have a squirrel eating a nut. Now oh, then, let's see. Ah, there's something. I can see some sort of something in the middle, like there's a centerpiece of the, as if we're in the middle of the woodland, the new woodland. Look at that, there's the blossom on a young cherry tree. There's some, some picnic tables up here. It's interesting looking. Um, it looks as though it's one giant picnic table as if you could have like a, a banquet here in the middle of the magical wood. Look at that. Interesting idea. Ah, now there's one of my um, favourite things to find when I go to these woodland places. We've sometimes seen them at National Trust properties before. A willow tunnel. I always enjoy going through willow tunnels. There is, that way, there's like um, a centerpiece entrance to the um, magical woodland. So what I'm going to do, um, I, I want to get back to the railway to see the HST, so I'm going to put a picture in now. That was what I took on an earlier visit when I just walked past it and actually walked through the magical woodland. So I'm going to continue on now and um, head on back towards the railway line. As I walked back down towards Ayers End Lane, I saw this other nice hornbeam woodland. So I came off the bridleway, which runs just to the edge of the woodland along there. I thought I'd walk down through here. So I'm going to go back to the fields now, see a couple of HSTs, and um, and then go home. So um, just it's just out here. Basically, I'm getting back to where I started the video. So I'm going to go down there and wait for an HST to come along. <laughs> 